KNM Student Radio. Hey, it's uh, Jason calling in. Hey, Jason, how are you doing? Pretty good. Good, good. Good to have you here on the air in KNM Student Radio, the college station of College Station. And um, I'm glad you're fine. How's uh, how's everything going for you? It's going great. You just got in town. Probably was a little late, but we made it. That's so. Uh, welcome back to Aggieland. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I think that's supposed to be a howdy. Howdy, indeed. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you're still uh, keeping up with the howdy and everything. Yeah, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> Once an Aggie, always an Aggie, right? That's what they say. I can't seem to shake it. I stab my toothbrush every night to hold the loop. There you go. That's the spirit. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we're, we're here. We're going to do a short interview. I'm here uh, joined with uh, Tim, one of our other DJs at the station. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> All right, so uh, tell us a little bit about what you've been up to uh, lately. We heard uh, you were on this, in the studio doing some recordings. Yeah, I've been, uh, I mean, that's really all I've been doing for the past couple months, just writing a lot and recording, and um, I'm currently in the process of wrapping, uh, wrapping up a record deal. Wow. Um, we, yeah, we've been in negotiations since last year, and I'm very excited about that. That's yeah, very exciting. Sure. Show the details, but yeah, and so I mean, <laughs> from that that on, I'm still just writing, collecting material for the uh, the album, and you know, we're gonna try to have that out by summertime. That's great. Well, yeah. congratulations on that. Yeah, thanks. So, um, t tell us a bit. Uh, well, if you can, I mean, uh, about your songs. Uh, how's how's the process going? Um, have you been uh, doing some of your own songwriting, or what? What can we expect on this new album? Yeah, I've done a, a lot of, of my own, and, and um, I've hooked up with a lot of other writers too. One of the uh, guys I hooked up with actually, he's in my band mm -hmm. now. Um, but we, uh, I was actually a fan of his online, a big fan of his music and uh, when I landed in LA I just kind of actually started talking on MySpace and we started hanging out and um, we, uh, we kind of just, just grew from there. Spirits. Yeah, we, we started cool. writing and he turned out to be a writer for EMI oh, and um, yeah. yeah, and so he started introducing me to other people and just been being creative, you know? That's Sitting great. down with people and making music, yeah. That's what it's all about, man. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, right, that's good. Uh, and um, tell us a bit uh, about your visit. Are you excited for tomorrow night? We're going to have you here at Rudder Theater in, uh, oh, yeah. on campus. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty pumped. That's, that's a big auditorium. <laughs> when, they, when they told me it was Rudder, I was like, all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's glad. awesome. You, uh, I understand you took some time off from being in the studio just to come over here with us. Yeah, I did. This is really my only show. I'm not doing anything before or after this. And after this, I'm strictly going in studio mode and no more shows. So, uh, yeah, it's special. But I haven't gotten to come back to, to Aggieland since I left. And, you know, I thought booking a show is the way I have to be there. Definitely. <laughs> so, uh, so I set up the show here also th through my, my friend Taryn. She's in town hall. And right. She goes, yeah, but, hey, let me, let me book the show. <laughs> let me do it before I graduate. Come back. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. That's great. Yeah. Well, um, just a little... Uh, Insight on, on this, uh, we, we know Terry and we're both, me and Tim, on Town Hall. Yeah. So we're on awesome. Town Hall team and uh, we'll be uh, out there tomorrow night also helping out in the concert. Yeah, and, um, and such. Everybody should come out after a uh, big event. You excited about big event? I uh, am, yeah, actually. That's, that was when they told me the date of the show, like I got double excited. Cause <laughs> I, I actually never got to participate in the big event while I was here. Really? Because it was always the weekend of my birthday, so I would go home is and with my family, you know, and my, my birthday was last um, Wednesday. So, you know, <laughs> if I was going to school here, thanks. <laughs> I would have had to drive home to be with my family and friends and stuff, and, but... So I'm, I'm really pumped this year. I get to come be a part of it. That's but, great. Yeah, that's great. So you're actually going to be at houses. Oh, yeah. right. You're going to be painting houses? You're going to be helping us out? Yeah. Actually, I'm painting the Lincoln Center. It's not a house. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> that's good. <laughs> I'm glad you're going to be joining us out there. Um, yeah. And then uh, definitely uh, after that, everybody should come out to Rudder Theater. Tickets are still on sale. At yeah, the, they are uh, still on sale. And the seat box office for $15 for students, $20 for non-students. Sweet. And um, yeah. you can get them at boxoffice.tamu.edu or at the box office here on campus. Yeah, right before the show. They're yeah. going to be open. Come on out. Yeah. Coming out for sure. Um, your brother's going to be opening for you, is that correct? Yeah, he is. Yeah, you, you're getting the whole family reunited for your birthday and your brother playing with you and coming back to Aguiland. Yeah. How about that? Uh, that kind of concert for you going? Well, it's been really neat to see my brother. He just kind of got the music bug this last year, and he's just been mm -hmm. playing a lot, writing a lot, and, uh, <laughs> you know, he's, he's been playing some shows on the weekends, and, you know, I was coming here, and he, he was like, let me play. 
right? You're there. Yeah, let him, let him see a big, big auditorium. And we're also gonna, you're also gonna be joined by uh, Charlie Gold, one of our very own right now here at Student at A&M. Yeah. Uh, who actually just happened to play here an acoustic set at the radio station uh, not too long ago, about really? three weeks ago or so, I want to say, three or four. Cool. So, you're going to be... Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I've been hearing about him. I'm yeah, you're going to be joined to by some, uh, some other great musician, Char yeah. Charlie Gore. He's, uh, he's been doing great. He has some great music. And uh, he's going to be out there with you also opening up uh, the concert tonight. Or awesome. Awesome. <laughs> it's, uh, it's great to have you back here in Aggie Land. And what, do you have any other plans to uh, visit people around, look at, uh, come walk on campus or... Chicken at the yeah, end. I was just thinking if, if, I, if I have some time before the sun goes down, it's a good day for walking on campus. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. And right? a nice breeze, uh, the rain cleared out. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, I don't know, you know, I got one day here, I'm headed out Sunday, so... Uh, oh man. You know, I hope to see as many friends as I can in the time, but... Uh, Heading back yeah. to the recording studio? Are you recording yep. in uh, California? Is that right? Yeah, I've been in Los Angeles, now. that's where I'm living right now. Okay. And uh, yeah, just right away recording. That's great. And yeah. uh, tell us a little bit about going back um, for um, all of our listeners out there. How was, um, how was it, that transition? I understand you used to play drums, and then you uh, switched back to guitar? Yeah, I... Uh, guitar, actually? Yeah, I actually never played guitar until I got to College Station. Uh -huh. I uh, grew up playing drums, so I kind of owe my singing and stuff to College Station. Because <laughs> um, I was in a band my freshman year, uh -huh. and uh, I, I would travel every weekend to go play with them. And so I didn't have my drums during the week, so I was kind of obsessed with music and started playing guitar. I just, I just wanted to learn how to sing a song, you know, <laughs> for myself, I, you know, in the dorms or whatever. Right. And, um, and as it went on, you know, I kind of just started really, like, falling in love with songwriting, just the way songs came together. And I just how it all, I just think it's so magical, but how all the music with lyric, with melody, yeah. how it all comes together. I don't know, I just really got into it. Because before, music was like... If it's not hard for me to play on drums, then it's no good. <laughs> that was kind of my mentality growing up, you know, naturally. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I fell in love just in songwriting and stories. And that's, that's great. Did you ever go uh, take any guitar lessons? Did you learn all on your own? Yeah, I learned it all on my own. I looked it up on the internet. <laughs> You're just that good. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it took some time. <laughs> that first year was not pretty. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at you now. It's uh, apparently pretty good, and it is pretty good. Let me tell you. In oh, thanks. Definitely. Well, it out, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it did it for the best. And um, before, uh, before you were on um, coming to A and M, you were in uh, doing different genre of music uh, while playing drums, right? Yeah, totally. I wouldn't have even listened to myself. <laughs> the music that's going on these days, you know, it was definitely a harder rock, a heavier side of things. Okay. And, you know, just beating those drums <laughs> And uh, how is uh, the writing process going for you? How, wh what do you write? What do you write about? How is um? Do you get uh, some inspiration out of something that's recently happened to you, and then write about it on the spot, or um? Do you relate some of your writing to personal uh, experiences that you had, or? How yeah, I mean, for you? most of it. Sometimes there's a current inspiration, like something that happened today, or something that came through in conversation. Sometimes phrases just stick out that kind of spark ideas. But, uh, you know, lots of times it's just sitting down. Most of the time it starts with music for me, and we play around on guitar, and, you know, I just feel like every... Like, music kind of has a, a feeling of its own, you know, and it's kind of already telling you what the song's about. It's kind of like sculpting, you know? Mm -hmm. You've got to find what's, what's in the music, and, you know, all the stories naturally you don't have to have a connection with inside sometimes it's reaching backwards sometimes it's a present situation uh -huh. but um you know it's all definitely writing for personal experience um just to, of life you know right that's, that's yeah it's really good so would you say the yeah. the uh the music that you're working on right now is a lot like the uh well i guess in style and tempo would you say it's similar to the stuff that you played on uh i guess so that we saw on american idol yeah i'd say it's similar to that definitely kind of going in that but um Kind of picking it up a bit too. I've got a band that's been backing me up, so I've been there. I've yeah. never played with a band before, uh, you know, the show. I, it's uh -huh. always just me in my room. <laughs> so uh, it's been kind of a new experience. It was kind of a, a strange transition at first, like, you know, trusting other people <laughs> playing behind me. It was just kind of, I don't know, I wasn't used to hearing it. But um, so it's definitely, you know, it's definitely coming more to life and more to music. But, uh, you know, I, I think the rest of music 